Hold up. Man, I'm getting warmed up. Oh. <laughs> Are my shorts not short enough for the short short club? What movie is that? What's up guys, Alex Chris Martin here. Coming at you with a shoulder and arm workout. So I just kind of wanted to sit outside because it's a beautiful day. I'm trying to get a good angle of myself here, but I'm having some troubles. So before we get into this workout, this is a very, very high volume workout. And I just want to make that clear before going into this. When I say very high volume, obviously I mean in relation to who you are, your training experience, and things like that. Um, for me personally, as a natural athlete, uh, I consider this a very high volume workout. So just something to consider uh, when programming this around your other sessions or your other workouts in the week. So guys, the way this workout went is it's three supersets. The first two supersets are gonna be six sets total. The last supersets gonna be only four sets total. So this first superset, we're gonna start with rear delts and triceps. Two of my uh, points I'm really working on trying to bring up right now. You can see here with the rear delt, sort of with the reverse pec deck. This is the only exercise I can really, really feel my rear delts in. And if you watch the way I'm performing this exercise, I may be cutting the range of motion a little bit shorter than what you might typically be used to seeing. But that's because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just keep my rear delt isolated. I'm not worried about my traps or any of my uh, scapular retractors or anything like that. I'm really just kind of trying to get my rear delts pulled back, get them firing. And you can also see here, the way I have the machine positioned, my arms are just a little bit higher than my shoulders. Barely. I mean, maybe even their, their level. But what I'm trying to do is I'm really just trying to keep that range of pull right at the rear delts. Supersetted with that exercise is going to be the rope tricep pushdown, one of my absolute all-time favorite exercises for triceps. I think this guy is really just a phenomenal exercise because with the rope you can really push out, keep those wrists straight, and you can really just isolate every head of the tricep. Phenomenal movement. With this, you really want to keep those shoulder blades back tight, retracted, and depressed. Keep your chest high. I even will squeeze my glutes here to ensure that I'm keeping this all isolated in my triceps, doing nothing but elbow extension here. So with this first superset, what I liked, what I did here was I went two sets of 20, and then I went two sets of 12 to 15, and then I went two sets of 6 to 10. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to ensure that I'm recruiting every single muscle fiber possible, and so by working in different rep ranges with different weights. Obviously, I went up in weight as I went down in reps. The reason I start at 20, which is a little bit higher, is because I wanted to keep the rep ranges even for both exercises, and I found that if I can go with a higher rep set on my rear delts and feel them out and really actually feel the pump developing, it's really easy for me to keep that contraction going later on in my heavier sets because sometimes when you do heavier sets you're so work focused on moving the weight that it's a little bit harder to still feel that muscle but when I do the higher rep sets to start off with I can really keep that muscle engaged and I really feel it firing so I just decided to do the same thing with triceps here keeping the form as strict as possible these are two isolation movements so let's keep the muscle isolated that's the whole goal of an isolation movement so we're gonna keep them isolated after I finished up this superset I was feeling really pumped this was a great way to start the workout out so went on to a superset of lateral raises and machine preacher curls so went with that same rep scheme of two sets of 20 two sets of 12 to 15 and then two sets of 6 to 10 I really enjoy that style of training I've been doing that a lot recently and it's really helped me like I said recruit every muscle fiber possible really kind of trying to ensure I'm getting the most bang for my buck when doing my training now with the dumbbell lateral raises here you can see I'm just barely pivoting at my hips and kind of leaning forward what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put the medial head of my deltoid away from gravity as best as possible. So that way, in that line of pull, what's against gravity, what's doing the work against gravity is my medial deltoid. If you stand directly up, a lot of the times you're either gonna be shrugging upwards and using your traps, or you're gonna be pulling forward and using your anterior deltoid. So by bending at the hips just like this, you can really get that medial head activated, especially if you're just slightly leading with those pinkies, that's gonna really help internally rotate you and make sure that that medial deltoid is on top and that's what's working against gravity. Also with this movement, I think it's very, very important that you stop parallel with the ground. Once you get your arms above parallel with the ground, you start to get into your traps a little bit. It starts to be a very, very unsafe position for your shoulder, especially when you're having those heavier weights. You know, you get into that six to 10 rep range. You really wanna be careful with that. Super set with this exercise was a machine preacher curl. With this machine specifically, I like to set the seat relatively low so that way I'm really locked into position even in a little bit of shoulder flexion and I've really found that that helps me isolate my biceps beautifully. I can really get the contraction all in my bicep. I have very close to zero forearm activation going on and I'm just getting it all in my bicep. Feels phenomenal. This is definitely one of my favorite machines to work with. But what I'm doing here, trying to keep everything nice, tight and locked in position so that all that's happening is elbow flexion and I'm just getting a curl. Now you can kind of see here, Sometimes I have my hands open or my palms just kind of like this and the reason I do that is so I can physically force myself to supinate and I can watch myself try to supinate. Since the machine doesn't naturally do this, I'm kind of just shifting my 
I'm kind of just shifting my curl. So as I come up, I'm just shifting the emphasis of the curl closer and closer to my pinky line. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give you even just a little bit more bicep activation. So when, if I hold my arms up like this and I just supinate, you can actually see my bicep flex without even doing anything, just by supinating here. So what I'm trying to do, I'm supinating more and more and more to try to get that bicep involved as much as possible, trying to put myself in the best biomechanical position possible. As I said here, I went two sets of 20, two sets of 12 to 15, and two sets of six to 10. Finally, to finish this workout off, I went with a, a, a little bit of a different superset. And what I did was I went close grip bench press, and this was a little bit of a modified one. I cut the range of motion just a little bit short to try to keep it all isolated in my triceps, and I even bend at the elbow a little bit earlier. So this is almost kind of a, a weird like skull crusher close grip bench uh, exercise variant. This is not some special kind of exercise that's gonna like blow your arms up, I'm not saying anything like that. There's just a little way for me to mix it up, uh, and this was honestly a great feeling. I did prefer it with the false grip a little bit more, but you can definitely do it with the classic overhand grip, which is definitely gonna be a little bit safer. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, with this superset, since we just did four sets, I just did two sets of 20 and then two sets of 12 to 15. Superset it with this exercise, I did some rope cable upright rows. What I'm trying to do here is keep my scapulas out of the movement, and I'm almost trying to perform it like a lateral raise with a little bit of a curl involved. And what that does is that's gonna keep it kinda in my medial deltoid and in my rear delts a little bit to kinda kill those off and make sure those guys are getting recruited. So really just pulling up, pulling our apart, trying to keep those scapulas down and retracted, and just bringing my upper arm to parallel with the ground. Very similar to a lateral raise in that fashion. So I went two sets of 20 and two sets of 12 to 15. That was it for the workout. You guys might be wondering, Alex, where's the anterior deltoid? Well, 9.9999999 times out of 10, your anterior deltoids are overdeveloped compared to your medial deltoid and your posterior deltoid. There was a study done, and I could be wrong about the numbers off the top of my head, so don't quote me on this, but it was something like bodybuilders tested their anterior deltoids were three to five more times hypertrophied than a typical human being. Their lateral deltoids were two to three times more hypertrophied than your typical person, and their rear delts were practically the same size. That tells you that we're, we're building a lot of this like forward posture. Everyone wants to train the muscles in the mirror that they can, they can see, and so you get in this kind of like forward posture, and maybe you look big, but dude, your shoulders are terrible. They're not moving right. So I'm saving that shoulder volume for a different day, really just trying to make sure that I can isolate those rear delts today and focus on the rear and the medial for the sake of developing those guys. This was a relatively higher volume workout, so this just might be something you wanna keep in mind when programming this around your other workouts. But the nice thing is, since this is all supersets, it's a very fast workout. I was in and out of the gym, warm up included in about an hour, a little bit less than. So big thing here, as with all the exercises, you wanna really be sure you're isolating, locking in, focusing, mind muscle connection type stuff. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I'm Alex Chris Martin, and I'm gonna see you in the gym after I go jump in the pool and probably eat like a Greek yogurt or something like that. But I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the gym. I just knocked the camera over.